Today people, Brass Brad here, back with some more of my 2015 metal detecting finds, closer look and update, and we, here we have the tool department, and uh, ended up getting three files, everything here is pretty much bound in the bush, or in a field maybe somewhere, some of them uh, Files there, you know, couldn't be that old, might not be that old. Um, back in the day, they'd probably take them to sharpen their axes, working in the bush and stuff, but, uh, you know, uh, nowadays they got chainsaws and stuff, and they have the fi uh, file the rakers down the odd time on them, and it uses a flat file like that, too, on a chainsaw. Them are a little big maybe to be filing chainsaw rakers so uh, they're probably using them for their axes or something and uh, little railway spike there the nearest railway here is about uh, 12 miles away in Perth and that little railway spike there looks like one, but it's awful short. It's probably only five or six inches long, and I'm not sure uh, whether it's actually a railway stake or not, but uh, I'd think they'd be a little bigger than that. And here we have some kind of clamp thing must have came around there and C-clamped it and they either bolted it down a little tight and snapped it or it got a jolt or something and got broke. A little pin or a punch I mean. Pounding old rusty bolts out of farm implements and stuff. And then I ended up getting three axes and three hammer heads I have another uh, ball peen hammer I found put away in the shed there I'll probably put it to use someday because it uh, still had the handle and practically like new nothing to matter with it at all so I'll, uh, it's not up on here and a lot of this small items like this here it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, they were using them right then and there or dropped them when they were walking or anything like that more apt to be bounced out of the back of a trailer or on the toolbox of the tractor or a toolbox on a skidoo or something like that and just uh, Losing, losing it on the trail, bouncing out. I, I know I've lost stuff in tractor uh, boxes and the back of trailer and out of skidoos uh, before bouncing them around and they end up on the ground somewhere. You don't know it's missing until you get home. And uh, same as uh, I know too with the axes and the the hammer around here. Over the years, a lot of kids building forts and stuff, too. So uh, they drag Dad's hammer off into the bush or their little axe and end up just leaving it there, go home and never go back. And the old sapper shovel, talking about one of them in an earlier video, um, when the... Uh, I imagine that's the type of shovel they used uh, when they uh, built the Rideau Canal not far from here and digging all the swamps out and building the locks and stuff um, that was about the 1830s or something like that so this is probably uh, a lot like the shovels they used back then and I was saying in another video there too that I seen one uh, complete one this summer and it was uh, pretty neat had a D handle built into it had a slit uh, handle at the top and they spread it and put a, 
the crosser in it and uh, made a little D handle that way. And uh, talked about brush snips in an earlier video there too. Had a little story to go along with the, with the snips under my uh, money and knives section, I think it was. And then chains, lots of chains around that uh, smaller one there, kind of tied together with a bolt. And uh, I actually found two other chains about that size, but the one was maybe five or six feet long, the other one was about ten. So they're out in the shed, they're too long to put on the shelf. Big old logging chain there, and you notice the vacant spot on the shelf because over here we got uh, wedges. The history of the wedge. That one there isn't really a wedge, but when I was a teenager, I helped out in a body shop a little bit, and. Pretty sure I've seen them using them kind of things. Little uh, dolly or shim or something they'd call it. Uh, you could shape your metal and uh, I think that little part there you could actually hook in the metal and give it a wee band or uh, straighten everything out fairly good with something like that just for wee shimming and pushing and pulling and fine tuning and stuff. And a uh, little wedge there, you can still buy them to this day for hammer and axe heads. And that one there, not even sure if it is a wedge. Definitely pounded on, broke, but it's hollow there. Got a spot in the middle, and I don't think it was for a handle, and it was a, a little axe or hatchet or anything. Um, if it's not, I think I remember one time seeing wedges that some college educated kid come up with, I guess, that had uh, a hollow uh, in the middle up there where you pound on it. So maybe it's a wedge, maybe not. Could be, uh, you know, a, br a broken front bushing or suspension part on a old tractor or something might have been a bolt or a rod or something going through that and uh, and they got pounding on it to get it out or something and end up breaking a piece of the casing off or something you never know but uh, I'm sure I've seen old wedges in the past that were hollow up there like that I'm going to skip that one for now. Old wedge there, big old wedge. Typical type for logging and splitting wood and stuff. This is the one here that I'm interested in because a uh, totally different color than everything else. And it was pretty long. It broke off on the top and all curled up down there. And if you notice, all the lines in it and stuff. It looks folded on the edges. I think this has been splitting rock. I wouldn't doubt that that's been splitting some rock. I don't think it's uh, any kind of wood made them marks. Unless they were maybe trying to, you know, use it on some metal trying to split some metal with it or something, I don't know, but if that's uh, been splitting stone and stuff, and i just wondering there if, uh, you know, settlers, when they first got here, well, shortly after settlers got here, the uh, Irish uh, potato famine thing there, about 1830s or so, they uh, sent over a lot of... Uh, immigrants into Canada here, the British sent them, uh, you know, to kind of control the uh, Rideau Canal and 
St. Lawrence Seaway there and stuff on the north side and when they they wanted them to settle this area so they supplied them with a lot of uh, farming equipment and or a bit of stuff anyways and so happens that I think the wedge was uh, one of the implements that they uh, give to the settlers um, and it looks a little different and looks like it's been split in rock and different color and makeup and everything and just kind of wondering if that was one of the first wedges um, that were issued by the uh, British to some of the settlers that first came so uh, I don't know hard to say but uh, we got uh, another shelf out of the way for you here and I got two left and I'll, I'll be glad to be moving on to other things. Alright, thanks, bye.